So today I'm going to be doing um, a live free tarot reading event. So starting today at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I will be um, live on my YouTube channel and on Google Hangouts and I'm inviting you to ask your um, ask any questions you want and I will give you a tarot reading um, for them, for your questions. Uh, yeah, so you can post your questions on the Facebook event page or you can send me a, an email with your questions or you can send me a private message with your questions um, or you can post them on uh, the YouTube channel there you can just just send me your questions any way you know how and I will answer them during that hour-long session and if you can join me live that will be great so um, and I'll put a link to the event in this um, in this video as well so I want to start us off by doing a tarot reading for a question that I have that um, it's something that's been going on for me personally. Uh, this within the last, it's been a buildup over the last several weeks, but I'm just now tuning into what's going on. Within the last couple of days is when I've come to an, an awareness, an awakening to um, something that needs to change in my life. And as you know, I have a beautiful cat. Her name is. Bastet, and Bastet is um, right here. This is my beautiful girl. She's very excited, sitting on the counter, looking outside for her buddy, a squirrel. That is not her buddy at all. It is an animal she wants to attack and kill, as cats like to do. She's a predator. <laughs> anyway, she's a wonderful cat been a wonderful companion and I love her I love her period she's a blessing to me however my life is now shifting to where I need a lot of flexibility and a lot of movement and I have a very strong desire to release my attachment to things um, and get rid of even more clutter from my life as many of you know I um, in November I emptied my apartment and got rid of it, got rid of about 98% of all of my stuff, either sold it or gave it away. And now I am hoping to be really light, or back then I was hoping to be really light and to move around and travel. And the call from spirit is I need to lighten up even more because I am about to my physical world is starting to take on the changes that are happening in my internal world. And my internal world is about having a lot of, um, a lot of adventure and a lot of play um, and a lot of travel. And I will not be able to do that fully with Bastet because, not because I don't want her. She's a wonderful companion. I mean, she's sweet and easy but I feel that it's best if I don't bring her along with me because she's gonna be by herself probably at least 50% of the time and I think she can do better than that. I think we both can do better than that. And I also don't feel comfortable leaving her you know, in a kennel for two weeks while I'm in a place where she can't come. Also traveling through Europe and Asia, the people don't have, you know, like screens on their windows like even here in Canada I have all these windows and there are no screens it's been fine while it's been cold out but as it gets warmer I need to open the windows and I have to keep her safe when you're traveling around you don't let your cat outside um, so I would want to be able to keep her inside and I can't do that with the windows open just total practicality not happening. So rather than put her through it and put myself through it, I am going to be um, finding a new home for her. And I have a very lovely family that has come forth and wants to take her. As a matter of fact, I've had a number of people who have come forth 
offering to take her and give her a forever home. And I feel wonderful about that. I feel fully blessed and like really, really blessed. I have such tremendous good feelings about Bastet and about this process. What I'm looking for though is um, because I'm having a little bit of blockages when I get ready to think about where to place her and there are all sorts, there's all sorts of information coming in and I want to um, honor all the doubts and the concerns and the fears. I don't want to disregard them as if they aren't there. Um, you know, spirit is everything. So I'm going to just do an, um, I, I got, I pulled up the Archangel cards from Doreen Virtue. So I'm going to just see what message comes forth. And I have a message that comes from Archangel Chamuel. I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. Now, if you've been following my, um, my readings over the last um, few weeks, you might be noticing a theme. I'm noticing a theme. Every one of my readings has been speaking about um, an intimate relationship and a soulmate partner. And I am, um, I'm listening. This is not a reading about, you know, it's not about finding my partner, but I also understand processes, which I won't go into right now. But I'm, I'm listening to this with two parts of my brain. This is the answer to not one question, but two. So um, the message is very short. I'll read it out loud, and then let's channel in and see what we get. Um, it says, I'm helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. Um, this, of course, Bastet is a soulmate for me. And that Archangel Chamuel is coming forth to say, I've got this. And that means that I'm going to already, my first answer is to just sit back and relax and allow this process to come forth. Don't push anything. Don't worry. Just allow. So that's the first part. The additional message is, Love is in and around you right now. You don't need to search for it. Rather, by holding loving thoughts and conducting loving actions, you attract and manifest love in all aspects of your life. Call upon me to guide your thoughts and actions to bring romance into your life. Converse with me regularly about your love life. I can help you fall in love with your life and heal and manifest wonderful relationships. And I'm just going to say thank you so much, Archangel Shamuel, for coming forth for me with regard to this question and coming forth on behalf of my romantic love life. And I'm saying romance, even though the word romance wasn't necessarily mentioned here, but that's what's coming up. And um, the message is that with Bastet, I've chosen to act in the highest vibration of love on behalf of the cat. In this process, there was a tremendous pull of the ego to take me down a path of the old paradigm and I made a conscious soul choice to break free from that choice and to surrender to the arms of the goddess and allow Bastet and myself to be fully supported by the universe and to take my egoic mind and the structures of the egoic mind out of the equation, thus leaving me with a pure love-light connection. So the message is that Bastet is highly cared for and a beloved um, light worker. Things are not going to go the way that you think they are going to go. Be prepared for some surprises. This is an opportunity for you to 
test your new legs and test your flexibility and your trust muscle. So the best advice we can offer you, dear one, is to allow yourself this surrender, abandon yourself to this process, and just let yourself be supported by us. We want to show you that we love and care for you because this is a preparation for much, much bigger, more significant, more powerful events that are opening in your life, not just in your life, but in the lives of the people that come to you for guidance and look to you for the form that you hold for that vibration that you hold, that beacon, that is your heart center. So just relax and just allow and let me work magic for you. Right. Thank you, Archangel Shamuel. It says, Archangel Shamuel's aura is pale green like a springtime leaf in the morning sunlight. You can feel close to Shamuel's loving energy by wearing or carrying a green fluorite crystal. Happily embracing the green um, energy of Archangel Shamuel. All right, friends. So I'll see you today at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's 10 o'clock a.m. on the West Coast. And Europe, you guys are just like all over the map with your time. You know, from Portugal to Germany. It's just, I don't know. Y'all will figure that out. Thank you for joining me now. And I look forward to um, working with you in the future. Namaste, friends.